Hello and welcome to another screencast review on webinformant.tv. I'm David Strom, your host and reviewer. Today we look at Semantic's Endpoint Virtualization Suite, composed of a series of different products that allow you to manage multiple ways to deliver your applications across your enterprise. It is a complex but very powerful product, so let's get started showing you a few scenarios. One of the bigger benefits of using virtualized applications is where you want to have the ability to run applications that don't play nicely together. Virtualization puts each application in its own protected layer. They don't step on anything else in your system. For our example, we show you a desktop that's running both the old Word 97 and Word 2003 versions of Microsoft Office. Normally you can install them both on the same system, but you can do it with Semantics technology. You also have the ability to track all of your software licenses in real time and get a solid picture of who is using what piece of software when, so you can reduce your licensing expenses. You can also automatically remove unused applications from a user's desktop after a certain period of time, too. One other aspect of virtualization technology that is new to this version is the ability to get a lot more granular with how you set up your application layers. We are looking at the virtualization console here, and if we right-click on one of the applications, we can see the details about how to separate each layer, or set up dependencies, or hide them from the OS itself. Let's move on to a second issue, the ability to support users who are only occasionally connected to your corporate network, but still need to get their applications from a central server. One of the weaknesses of other streaming products is that you need a continuous network or internet connection to run your apps. Symantec has added support for offline users, and there are several ways to accomplish this with the Symantec suite. One way is to use streaming, and the new version can figure out whether a user is on a laptop or a desktop and deliver the application accordingly. Here we've set up a web-based portal so that users can bring up their browsers to start their applications. You notice that when we expand all of them, we can see by the various icons whether they're offline enabled or can sense if a laptop is being used. Another way is to set up connection broker that will deliver a protected desktop with a select number of applications that can be launched, which is similar to what Citrix and Microsoft's terminal server do. You have the ability to grab user profiles from Microsoft Active Directory, then map what particular applications they will run and what other resources they will have access to. You can also set up particular parameters for each Windows OS version here by going into Applications menu and you see this screen. If we go back a menu and drill into the Users, we can also go into the Workspace tab and can set up particulars for the applications that will appear on each user's desktop. We can customize the appearance of their desktop and match their role to what apps will be shown. Once we get all this information together, we can show you how it looks from the user perspective. Here we're looking at the login screen of the workspace part of the suite, and once we log in, you'll see we automatically launch Solitaire, although you probably want to set up something a bit more work-related. Users can resume the state of their sessions without having to reload applications, which is great for certain environments. We can also go to a browser from outside the corporate network and gain access to this same desktop as well. What are things I liked about the product? Numero uno is its flexibility. You can support a very wide arrangement of use cases, including virtualize the applications that need to be protected from each other, stream applications so you can manage them centrally and still deliver them locally, create protected remote desktops too. You can also have a very complex layers that are dependent on other layers, and you can go in and patch an existing layer and add or upgrade the application inside it. You can support a mixture of virtual machines, terminal sessions, and streamlined applications from the Semantic Suite. What are things I didn't like? There isn't a single console for all the various components, and the installation is very complex and will take some experimentation and lots of fine-tuning. There isn't a single pol policy repository either for all use cases, although Semantic is working on both of these for future versions. Thanks for watching webinformant.tv, where you can find other screencast reviews of semantic products. This is David Strom. Feel free to send me email david at strom.com.